Okay, I'm going to teach you a skill that I think will be forever popular with teenage boys and perhaps teenage girls too, for that matter. It is how to get your object to shoot a bullet, which is of course creating another object. So let's look at the simplest way to do this. So I'm going to set up an event because something's got a trigger at happening. And I'm going to say key press space for want of anything better. So when you press the space bar, I'm going to choose this one here, which is create a moving object. So I'm going to create other, and I'm going to use this object called projectile. Now it's actually wearing a sprite, which is a little animated GIF of like a fireball. I'm going to make it relative. So the coordinates I'm giving it are from the position of the existing object. That's what relative means. So X is how far across the screen it is, and I'm happy for it to be straight above. And Y is how far down the screen it is. And I'm actually going to want it to sort of emerge just above the object. So I'm going to take 20 pixels off the Y coordinate. I've got to give it a speed of movement. So I'm going to make it moving at 5. And I've got to give it a direction of movement. And that's actually 90 degrees straight up, which I'm sure you know from maths. So let's close that and let's have a quick look at how this level plays. Okay, so here it is. I press the space bar. And as you can see... It launches uh, a new object in that direction. And what I can do is then put in some code so that when that object has a collision with another object, something happens. So that's how you create bullets, missiles, in my case, great balls of fire.